the 52 week project. Today's video I'm very excited to share with you because it's one of my favourite days of shooting all year and I was really really happy with how the photos came out from the shoots on the day. I had two shoots on the day with Ebony and Lauren the models and Stella the makeup artist. So it was a really good day of shooting. It was actually like a miserable day outside and we ended up going to Stella's house to shoot and used her space there and it was really good because it's a bit bigger than my uh, spare room at my apartment and the lighting was perfect in her place because she has big windows and they allow a lot of natural light in and I was able to use the natural light on a really miserable day which was great because it's quite filtered and soft so I was able to use that natural light and also my studio lighting as well and we created some pretty good images I feel so like I said, this was one of my favorite shoots, shooting days of the year, and I really enjoyed how both of the shoots came out, and we had really, really fantastic models on the day, and of course Stella is amazing with her hair and makeup, so definitely go check her work out. I've listed her Instagram in the description box below. She has some incredible beauty work, so yeah, feel free to go and check her out. I'm going to get straight onto the photos today. Once again, we didn't have behind the scenes, and I'm really apologizing for this because I've, I've actually got no behind the scenes pretty much for the rest of the 52-week project. Um, I've only got a few more videos to put up so it's basically just self critique at this stage and, and walking through all the images that I've taken um, but we're so close to the end at the moment there's only one video that I'm holding off on posting with the 52 week project and that's because uh, it's actually a bit of a secret so I'm not gonna tell you guys just yet but um, I will be posting it eventually I'm not sure how much information I'll be able to put in that video about the shoot that I did because it's a little bit under wraps still so I'll let you guys know how I go with that but we are very close to finishing this project overall. I'm gonna go straight into Lauren's photos for the week and I absolutely loved photographing Lauren she was such a great model and we just sort of stuck to initially a very bronzed up natural beauty look and then we went into more of a red lip look with her and then eventually we sort of experimented with a bit of glitter which was fun. So the first few shots I was really really happy with and this first shot here is going to be my top five for the week. I love how the glow looks on her skin and just the makeup looks stunning and I love Lauren's look in this photo. And I actually really like how the lighting turned out in it as well. So it's definitely going to be in my top five. This is another photo that's going to be in my top five. And once again, I really love Lauren's expression and her pose. And I love that the makeup and the hair is really highlighted in this shot as well. And um, yeah, I just, I, I love how it turned out. So that's another one that's going to be in my top five. This one I really like as well. I'm not going to put it in my top five, even though I like it a lot. Um, I just think that there's maybe a few other better images from the week, but I do love how it, once again, it showcases the makeup and the hair and, and Stella just did such a fantastic job. This shot's not going to be in my top five and I like that Lauren's looking away in this photo. I think it's a little bit different, but it's not gonna be in my top five because I just don't feel like it has as strong elements as some of the other shots. So I like it, but I think the next shot is a better shot overall. And this photo here is very similar to the last shot, but it is also going to be in my top five. I really, really love how it turned out. And once again, Lauren's expression is brilliant in this. I think it's just so sultry and beautiful. And the red lip, once again, stands out really well in this shot. Um, the makeup looks great and I really like how the lighting turned out. So the next shot isn't going to be in my top five and once again I do love a lot of the elements about the shot however I think it's just a bit too similar to the other two and I do like the, the previous two maybe a little bit more than this shot. Some of you might disagree but um, this one's not going to be in my top five. This photo here is not going to be in my top five and unfortunately I really love this photo but I do feel with the retouching I might have gone a little bit too much. Um, it's it's something that I've kind of reflected on with the skin retouching on this one, but I do think I might have pushed it a little bit far. I love a lot of the elements about this shot though, and I think the makeup still looks great, and Lauren looks beautiful as usual, So, um, but unfortunately it's not going to be in my top five. This photo here is not going to be in my top five either, and I do love, once again, a lot of the elements about it. Makeup looks great. I think the lighting's maybe a little bit more off in this shot. I think it's a little bit more washed out, which I don't like as much and it washes Lauren's skin tone out a little bit, so I think that's why it's not going to be in my top five. This photo here is also not going to be in my top five. I like it, but I don't love it. Um, I think that there's things that I could have changed about this shot, maybe the angle of her face, the lighting, I just think it doesn't pop that much to me, so it's not going to be in my top five. 
This shot is going to be in my top five, and I absolutely love this shot. I love Lauren's expression. I love that we sort of experimented with glitter a little bit, so it's a bit different. And I just really love everything about this shot. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites for the week. And I think the makeup looks stunning once again. Stella did such a fantastic job, so definitely one of my favorites. This photo is not going to be in my top five because I do like the previous photo a little bit more. This one's just a little bit more close up of Lauren's face and although everything looks really beautiful, I think once again I struggled with the retouching a little bit on this one and I just don't think it's necessarily my best work but I do prefer the last photo more so that's why it's not going to be in my top five. And then this is the last photo for the week and the last photo in my top five. I really love this shot of Lauren. I think she looks absolutely stunning and it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit further away than a lot of the other shots. So I think it was a little bit different for me to choose this one and that's why I did in the end. I think overall it was really hard for me to choose my number one from Lauren's shoot because I really liked a lot of the images. I think I would have to go with this image though as being the number one. I just love the lighting and the shot overall and it's just such a beautiful portrait of Lauren. Uh, if there was a close second it would definitely have to be this shot here. I just really like that we kind of did something a bit different and experimented a bit with it. Um, but overall, I just really was happy with Lauren's shoot. It was such a great day and I really feel like everything just came together in the end. So now we're going to move on to Ebony's shoot and oh my god, I loved Ebony's shoot as well. And I actually just had so many photos I loved from the day and it was such a hard thing to put them into my top five. I'm going to go through them now and tell you guys which ones I really liked and which ones I didn't like as much. But most of them I did actually like because Ebony was such a great model along with Lauren. So this first shot is definitely going to be in my top five. It was one of my favorites for the week. I think she looks just absolutely stunning in this shot. And I was really feeling on the day like a bit of a vibe for a commercial jewelry shoot. And that's kind of how it turned out, I think, uh, which is great to have in my portfolio, definitely for future reference uh, for any clients that potentially might be for jewelry or beauty. I just love how this shot turned out. And everything from the hair to the makeup to the lighting it looks so glowy and i think that's what i loved about these shots is that it was such a cloudy day but we managed to get that really glowy look by using the, the windows being open and also by using a one light setup with a reflector so it was a pretty simple setup but i think it really worked overall this shot i really love of ebony too it's not going to be in my top five even though i do think it's a little bit different and i really like it overall Along with this one here, they're both very similar, but really good commercial shots for me to have in my portfolio, so I think I'll definitely be keeping those ones. This one's a really lovely shot overall as well. It's not going to be in my top five, even though I do love how the makeup looks in this, and I think it's a beautiful close-up of Ebony. Um, I do think I've got stronger shots though overall. Once again, really love this shot. It's not going to be in my top five, even though I love how it turned out, and I love that the composition's a little bit different too. I think it looks really great, but not going to be in my top five because once again, I think they're stronger. And along with this one, I'm not going to be putting this one in my top five either, even though Ebony just looks amazing in it. We just really stuck to really glowy bronze looks throughout the whole um, setup and, and then we kind of moved into a little bit of color with the makeup. And I think this, this color lip really suits Ebony as well. And it's really striking in this shot, although I do think that, once again, I've got other shots that I like even more. This shot is going to be in my top five, and I really love how this shot turned out of Ebony. I think it's absolutely stunning, and I think she's just so beautiful in this shot. And everything looks really good with the lighting, so glowy, and the makeup looks amazing, so definitely going to be in my top five. I really love this image also and I think it's definitely going to be in my portfolio somewhere because I think it's a bit different with expressions, um, but it's not going to be in my top five. I just think that we were really sticking to a beautiful, um, relaxed beauty theme with this shoot and I mean I love this shot but it's just not going to be in my top five. Now this is one of the close-ups that's going to be in my top five of Ebony and I think it's just such a striking shot of her makeup and of her personally. Um, I think she just looks absolutely stunning once again. I feel like I'm a broken record in this video because I just really was happy with how all those images turned out. And it's funny, comparing these shoots back to my previous beauty shoots, I wouldn't say that um, they really rise above this particular day because this was just such a good day for, for Stella and I with shooting and I really feel like we did really like a really good job on the day. This is another one in my top five. 
and I feel like it's just such a beautiful close-up of Ebony. It's a bit of a different angle of her face too and I really like that and I think it shows off her freckles and her eye colour and, and just the makeup looks great. Love the lighting so definitely going to be my top five. This is another shot that I love of Ebony. I think that it's really cool that she's smiling and laughing and it looks really good and commercial. And it's definitely going to be in my portfolio along with most of the other images in this shoot, but it's not going to be in my top five as I thought that I did have stronger beauty shots. Once again, a really lovely commercial image of Ebony, but won't be in my top five due to there being other shots that I prefer over this one. Now, I really love this photo of Ebony for some reason, so it is going to be in my top five. It'll be my last one in the top five for the week. Really love that she's looking over her shoulder and it's a bit of a different angle and it shows off the jewellery quite well too. So I really love that this shot stood out for me and, and I think the lighting once again looks really good in it. So definitely going to be in my top five. And then these last three images of Ebony, I really love all three of them. Uh, they're not going to be in my top five though as I think that I do have strong shots overall. So overall I think my top number one photo of Ebony had to be this one. From the start, it was the one that I picked out first to edit and I knew immediately that it was going to be one of my favourites, so it's definitely my number one for the week. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I know there's not much go else going on at the moment as far as behind the scenes or anything, but I think it's good to do a walkthrough of my images sometimes and show you guys what I'm working on, especially with the 52 week project. I hope you guys enjoyed it overall and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And let me know what you want to see in future videos, if there's anything particular beauty wise that you'd like to see, tutorials or, or anything like that on my channel, please let me know in the comments section below. And thank you so much guys for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!